Hello, my name is Brandon Pierce, and today I'll be taking you through the basics of Connect IQ. Let's get started. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Connect IQ is the app system for Garmin wearables, bike computers, and outdoor handhelds. Connect IQ allows developers to create on device solutions for Garmin users and distribute them on the Connect IQ store, where they can reach millions of Garmin users around the world. Let's follow the journey of a Connect IQ app. First, apps are created with the Connect IQ SDK written in the Monkey C programming language, the language you didn't know you already knew. Beneath a deceptively simple syntax is access to a whole range of on-device APIs. When your app is ready, it is uploaded to the Connect IQ store. And from there, millions of users can find it download it to their Connect IQ compatible device and use it in their lives. The Connect IQ store hosts tens of thousands of apps developed by thousands of developers just like you. When creating content for Connect IQ, the best place to start is understanding what you want to build and who you want to build it for. Garmin makes products for many users, but let's focus on the Garmin customers who use the Connect IQ products. Wellness users are looking for 24 seven tracking of their bodies. These customers are interested in metrics like stress and body battery, which gives them a better understanding of their overall health. Fitness users want their Garmin device to record their workouts, track their training progress and achieve their goals. For these customers, the Garmin activity experience is very important. During a workout, they want to focus on their training, but also use their Garmin device to understand and improve their performance. Some of these users may wear their device all day, while others only use their device during their workouts. Outdoor users bring their products as part of their getaway, using their Garmin products as an important instrument for orientation and tracking their progress while on excursions. Cyclists use their Garmin device during their ride. They may be out for a casual ride or a three hour workout. During that time, their Garmin device is keeping tabs on their location, pace, power, and much more. Golfers bring their Garmin devices to the golf course to help them improve their game. These users are interested in understanding the courses they play and finding ways to train and develop their skills. Your user may be any combination of these customers or bring an entirely new use case. Here are some common use cases for Connect IQ apps. The watch face is not only the home screen of the Garmin wearable experience, but also an opportunity for the user to express themselves. Custom watch faces allow you to bring your brand and creativity to our customers. Connect IQ allows Garmin devices to communicate with third party sensors. The information from these sensors can be recorded as extra activity information that can be displayed in Garmin Connect. Garmin supports a wide range of activities, but Connect IQ developers can extend the devices into workouts not supported natively, like dancing, inline skating, or others. Garmin wearables are meant to be worn 24-7. And Connect IQ allows our users to access your services at the flick of a wrist. Connect IQ allows content providers to extend their services to Garmin users. Content can be downloaded over Wi-Fi and securely stored on our devices for later playback by users. And you can enforce your playback tracking and subscription management within your Connect IQ app. Sometimes it's necessary to architect a solution that involves a variety of technologies. With their programmability, sensors, and connectivity options, Connect IQ compatible devices can often serve as part of a larger solution. Connect IQ allows you to make four different types of apps. First are watch faces, which serve as the home screen to Connect IQ compatible wearables. Some just show the time while others serve as dashboards of information. Next are data fields, 
which serve as plugins to the Garmin fitness experience. Data fields allow developers to compute new metrics, import or export sensor data over ANT or Bluetooth low energy, or consolidate information for better visibility. Device apps are launchable experiences that give the developer full control. They can be productivity tools, games, or entirely new activities. Finally, audio content providers are plugins for the Garmin Music Experience. They allow users to download content from services like Spotify, Amazon Music, and Deezer. Now let's take a look at how a developer can get started creating Con Connect IQ apps. The three main requirements for Connect IQ are a Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu Linux machine, Visual Studio Code, and Java Runtime version 1.8 or higher. Go to the Garmin developer site at developer.garmin.com slash connectiq slash SDK to download and install the SDK manager, and then log in with your Garmin Connect credentials. You can use the SDK manager to download the latest SDK and devices. The SDK includes several tools, including the Monkey C compiler and product simulator, the code documentation tool, the command line debugger, exception reporting tool, and more. To fully take advantage of the SDK, you also need the Visual Studio Code Monkey C extension. To get this, in Visual Studio Code, go to the View menu and choose Extensions. Search for Monkey C in the Extension Marketplace search box and select the Monkey C extension from Garmin. Use the Install button to install the extension in Visual Studio Code. After Visual Studio Code restarts, summon the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P on a Mac, and then type Verify Installation. Select Monkey C Verify Installation to confirm everything you need to begin developing Connect IQ apps, and this is in place. Finally, you need to create a developer key. Your apps are signed with this key before uploading to the store. So to create this key, you summon the command palette with Control Shift P, or again, Command Shift P on a Mac, type Generate Developer Key, and select Monkey C Generate a Developer Key. Select the directory where you'd like to save your developer key. And it's important to store this key in a place where you intend to keep it. If you lose this key, you'll not be able to update your apps, so keep it safe. For more information about getting started, go to the Connect IQ Basics section of the developer site for the Getting Started Guide, or the SDK page to download the SDK Manager. Connect IQ apps are written in Monkey C, the programming language you didn't know you already knew. Let's have a quick overview. Here is a sample of Monkey C code. As Italian and Spanish derive from Latin, Monkey C derives heavily from other popular languages, C, Java, JavaScript, Python, Lua, Ruby, and PHP all influence the design for Monkey C. If you're familiar with any of those languages, Monkey C should be easy to pick up. At the top of our sample code here are some module imports. The ConnectIQ API offers a rich set of modules on which to build. Not every module is available in every app type. Also, some modules like communication and ant will require you to declare an app permission in your manifest. Documentation of all the APIs are available on the developer site. Monkey C is an object-oriented language and every value in Monkey C is an object. It uses single inheritance like Java. Objects and modules have functions and member variables. Members of classes can be scoped to public, protected, or private, while in modules, every value is public. Here are the base types of Monkey C. There are numeric types, characters, strings, sequential and associative arrays, and named constants. All strings use UTF-8 as their internal representation. 
Finally, while Monkey C is a dynamically typed language, it has a gradual type system on top for compile time checking. The type checking system can be turned up to a strict level to forbid ambiguity or be turned off entirely. The Monkey C section of the developer site goes into the ins and outs of the Monkey C language. Because every Garmin product is use case focused, they each have a distinct personality. The personality of the product is a combination of choices made for the hardware itself and the focused interactions and style of the software. Garmin products use different hardware and technology to meet the needs and desires of our various customers. While the kinds of inputs can vary from device to device, the following abstract behaviors apply to all ConnectIQ devices. The next previous action navigates to the next or previous item or to the next or previous page in a page loop. The select action picks an item out of a set of choices. The start stop action marks the beginning or ending of an activity session. On button products, this is often the same as select. The back action navigates the view hierarchy by popping off a page from the view stack. And the menu action brings up the settings menu for the application. While deciding on a workflow for your app, it helps to think in terms of these key interactions, saving more complicated interactions for later design phases. The traditional Garmin user interface is hierarchical, where views are stacked based on the user's selections. Every device has a standard behavior for navigating the selections and backing out of the hierarchy. But these standard behaviors can be different from product to product. Try to limit the depth of your navigational hierarchy. Focus on quick selections and not forcing the user to make multiple choices. Page loops are a carousel of views. When the user is in a view loop, the user interface presents a set of views of information that provide different data and insights to the user. There are standard behaviors for going to the next and previous pages. Going past the last view typically loops the user back to the first view, forming a loop of information. View loops are an effective way to get more information that can fit on one screen. Here are some other common view types. Dialogues are typ typically a modal screen with a textual message that the user must confirm to continue. These can be used for error messages, instructions, or other forms of guidance. Progress bars tell the user to wait for an asynchronous action to complete. There are two styles of progress bar, a standard progress bar that counts from zero to 100%, and a busy progress bar for when the completion time cannot be quantified. Confirmations are pages to confirm a user action. They can be used to confirm a decision by a user or add a point of friction if the user is exiting a flow. Action views are full screen views of information with an indicator on how to access a selection menu of, of available actions. Action views are good when the user has reached a point where you wish to summarize information and give them a decision point in the navigation hierarchy. There are also two main common menu types. Selection menus allow a user to choose between two or more items, and the items are presented on a one-dimensional list with optional iconography. Settings menus are typically available from the base view of the application via the menu behavior. The settings menu typically allows the user to alter global app settings. Garmin products leverage various display technologies, which is driven by the use case of the product. Many Garmin products use a screen technology known as memory in pixel or MIP. MIP displays are very low power and because they depend on reflecting light, they look brightest in outdoor use cases. The display technology is limited in, in color palette. Some offer up to 64 colors, while others offer only eight colors or even black and white. The other common screen technology Garmin devices use is LCD or AMOLED. These offer many more colors and can look vibrant, but can also easily use more power in outdoor use cases. The user experience guidelines on the developer site 
go into depth into designing for Garmin devices and provides documentation on the product personalities. Once you've finished your app development, you can upload your app to the Connect IQ store. First, you need to export the app. Using the Visual Studio Code extension, you can use the monkey see export project command in the command palette to generate an IQ file. Then you can go to the app store and upload your IQ file. You can then set several attributes such as the name, description, app icon, and screenshots. When you're finished, your app will be submitted for review. App review is usually complete in a matter of days, but not always. If your app uses AMP Plus, for example, the app will need to be AMP Plus certified. Make sure to read the app review guidelines to avoid potential problems. You can learn more about submitting an app and review the guidelines on the developer site. And that's Connect IQ. We're excited to see what you create. Thank you.